Hello everyone, it's Imran here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to react to another fan-made Thomas story, but it's from another series. So this series I'm go going to be reacting to is Sudren Stories. And I'm actually going to react, react to this series from episode 17 onwards because Trains 2019. I don't normally want to react to content that was below Trains 2019 because Trains 2019 looks more realistic, it does. So yeah. Sergeant Story. I'm going to react to Sergeant Stories. This is episode 17, which is called Rail Car Rivalry, uploaded two years ago. I'm actually going to. I actually have watched a few of the older episodes before this episode, and it's quite interesting to say the least. So, obviously, this Rail Car Rivalry is going to be between Daisy, the diesel rail car, and of course, Hugo, the rail ze zeppelin. Hugo was one of my. <coughs> excuse me, was one of my favorite characters introduced in the Brenner era of Thomas, mainly because, as you can tell, of his. His design, he was based off the rail zeppelin, an experimental rail car that had a propeller that could be accelerated to 230.2 kilometers an hour, which is 143 miles an hour. I mean, that look must look really cool. I really love the futuristic design of this. I mean, I mean, I really wish there was more of this. Thankfully, we've got Hugo. I mean, if I ever visit the Northwestern Railway, on my bucket list would be to ride on Hugo because of his propeller. I mean, it must it must be really comfortable, but let's see what this episode is about. It, this, this series is obviously made by Epic Latifia, who is actually the voice of Thomas in Thomas the Trains Adventures by I Love Trains 323. So, yeah, can't wait for this. Link to the video and react to in the description down below as always. Without further ado, let's not waste any more time and get straight into this. Railcar Rivalry. There are many different kinds of engines the on the Elm So he's part but of this series. The Daisy the Diesel Railcar prides herself on being one of a kind. Look there, Daddy. That train looks like a coach. Uh, hello oh. there. Actually, I'm a railcar. The only yep. railcar on this entire railway, in fact. Are you sure about that? That's cool. You bet your bottom dollar it's cool. There's no one as, uh, <clears throat> cool as me. Are you However, sure about Daisy that? can be a little high strung too. And a little over dramatic. Oh, oh, hello there, Daisy. That's Did Ryan. you hear the news? The Earl's friend from Germany just arrived with a new engine. He's a rail car. <laughs> it's just like you. What? Yep. <laughs> Look at Daisy. Me. Oh, He's Daisy. called Hugh. What? Oh, look at Daisy's reaction to the camera. <clears throat> Zooming in is is really f was that was that was funny. I wasn't expecting that. Yep, Oliver just told me he's called Hugo. <laughs> Looks oh, like so you aren't the only taken rail car Hugo's on this arrival. entire railway anymore. When Hugo arrived. <laughs> now you listen here, Ryan. Ooh. No other rail car could ever compare to me. In fact, I think I'll go have a look at this Hugo myself. <laughs> He's probably not even a real rail car. <laughs> he is. And with that, Daisy honked loudly and raced away from the station platform. Uh, Daisy! What about all these passengers? You know where to find the coaches. You can take them. I owe you one, Ryan. Oh. Oh, poor Ryan. And I made sure to make Hugo here extra light. Which is how he is able to achieve such high speeds. Wow, that's amazing. Truly revolutionary. Oh, Stephen and Glenn. It's simply fantastic. Hugo here is like nothing else I've ever seen. One of a kind. Hello, there he hello, is. Stead Castle. I have arrived. Uh, anyway, I heard that a new engine was here. A... <laughs> Rail car? Ah, yes. Daisy, this is Hugo. He's an experimental engine. Really? He is called a rail zeppelin. Oh, so so Hugo is an experimental engine. And it was on the Wikipedia. He's and designed I missed that for completely. speed. Hello there. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh my. Hello, Hugo. <laughs> You're the rail car I've been hearing about? Poo, you look more like an aeroplane than a rail car. Daisy? Well, that's not very kind at all. Quite right, Stephen. Hugo is our guest. 
Uh, yeah. Right. Sorry about that. Got caught up in myself for a moment. It's uh, nice to meet you too. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Hugo, you're in good company. I'm sure you and Daisy have a lot in common. Yes, much in common, I am so. Hugo was eyeing Daisy carefully. He didn't like her stuck-up attitude at all. Well, uh, it was nice to meet you, Hugo. Um, bye, everyone. And Daisy left. <sighs> Did wow. she really just come all this way here just for that? I wish I could yep. explain half the strange things the engines on this island do. Very yeah, true, Stephen. I don't true. Think you said you and Glenn only work up on the much. estate. Oh, now don't say that. I'm sure you two will get along swimmingly once you get to know each other. In fact, yeah, Hugo. that gives me an idea. Uh-oh. Watch out, Hugo. What? What is it? Whenever the Earl has an idea, that usually means trouble. Oh, oh boy. You're in for a, few a ride, days later, Hugo. Daisy was back in Hartwick, busily shuttling passengers to the beach. She was still a little annoyed that she wasn't as special as she once thought, and a little jealous, too. Just then, as she pulled into the platform, she received a most unusual surprise. Hugo? H Hugo? What are you doing here? Right, Since you me, just the L brought me here. Skippable. Uh, sir, what's this all about? Daisy! So lovely to see you! I brought Hugo down here to your wonderful branch because I thought it would be nice for the two of you to spend some time together since you're so similar and all. Is this um, gonna lead to trouble? What exactly did you have in mind? Just bring Hugo with you along your route. Show him the seaside. Enjoy yourselves. Despite the Earl's enthusiasm, neither engine looked as if his proposition would be a very enjoyable experience. No. Uh, all right. Let's go, Hugo. What will you do in the meantime, then, Sir Robert? Oh, I'll be fine. I is that the, Germ the German of Sodor is voicing Hugo? All? I guess, given the fact he's also from Germany, the German of Sodor is from Germany, and it will make sense for him to voice Hugo, since Hugo's from Germany as well. He is an odd fellow, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. But he's been very hospitable. Yes, I don't get to travel up to the castle often, but I hear many stories about him from the other engines. Yep. Before long, the two railcars were rolling happily along the line together, chatting like old friends. Ah, oh. yes. It does get tiring, you know. Carrying so many people inside me all day, I envy the engines who pull coaches sometimes. Oh yes, very true. But even if you wanted to, you couldn't pull anything, could you? Because of your propeller and all? <sighs> yes, my propeller causes me great trouble. Some even say that it is not safe. But I would never hurt anyone. Daisy felt sorry for her new friend. She could tell that he was upset. Oh, don't let them get you down, Hugo. You're clearly a really useful engine, and you're even more unique than I am. I suppose. Just then, the two engines heard a loud cracking sound. Oh dear, what's that? On the rocky cutting above them hung an old tree, its branches dangling precariously oh, over the ramps. Oh, be careful. Daisy screeched to a halt and looked up. Oh no! Look out, Daisy! Oh! Hugo's propeller saves the day! Wow! Hugo, you saved me! Well, wow, the propeller can nothing. be useful at times. See, I told you how useful that propeller was. I suppose that maybe you have a point, Daisy. Now, we'd better get going. We wouldn't want your passengers to be late. You know, at first I was a little upset that I wasn't the only real car on the island anymore. But I've never been happier to have a friend like you, Hugo. Aww. Before long, Daisy and Hugo pulled into Harwick Station with the last passengers of the day. Here we are, Hugo. It was a pleasure spending the day with you, Daisy. So, Hugo, how was your big day out with Daisy? All I can say is it sure is lucky that Daisy and I worked through our differences. We actually have a lot in common. 
Jesse the Claw. Uh, not to interrupt, but Daisy still owes me a favour, and these trucks aren't going to move themselves. Oh, oh yes. Yep. Uh, Hugo, maybe you could help me out, please? No coupling hooks, remember? Goodbye, oh, yeah. Daisy! <gasps> uh. <laughs> Even though Daisy. she might not be the only rail car on Sodor anymore, the other engines know that there will always be only one Daisy. Yep. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I, <clears throat> that was a good episode episode to, to get me started off in the series so it's basically just like thomas the train's adventures his own little mini cgi series but i expected to be something like daisy and hugo having a competition with each other to see who was the better rail car and it to end in the disaster sir so, because daisy was jealous of hugo but that was actually quite nice daisy being jealous of hugo at first and then getting all friendly with him that was really nice so i enjoyed it that I'm definitely going to react to more of these Sudren stories in the near future. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video I reacted to. And also make sure we... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Apologies. And also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want me to react to next. Share this video. Subscribe if you're new here. Ring that bell to get notified for when I upload new videos. And also make sure you subscribe to Epic Latifia. I apologize if I completely mispronounced that. For more episodes of Sudren Sto Stories, a link to his channel will be in the description down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!